Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today I'm doing an office tour. It's been a while since I did one of these, um, and I recently updated a lot of stuff in here. Um, but I'm recording this um, back in October, before all of the crazy. Um, if everything is going to plan, then by the time this video goes out, we will be either about to move, in the process of moving, or just have moved. And so this is all obsolete, but um, I did so much hard work on it. I am so happy with how it's turning out, even though there's still a couple things that I would have done if we weren't gonna be moving um, that are left undone. <laughs> sorry, sorry about the sweat, by the way. Uh, it's October, but it's still hot. Uh, even though this is all getting torn down, I wanted to encapsulate this in a video for myself as much as anybody else. Um, hopefully my new office space in the new house is or will be very nice very soon. But anyway, here we are. Let's take a look. Here's the desk. It has not moved. Um, but I have moved everything about my desk. So I used to have my computer underneath down there. And then I had um, my recording stuff over here. Once upon a time, I was filming with um, a tripod that was perched up here on this shelf. But then I invested, you can see it was here for a while, in just a little camera mount. These are designed for um, like security cameras or something, you know, basically, but it's got the tripod mount on it. So I have this hooked into the wall. Attached to that is a ring light with a, another tripod mount thing in the middle. And then a clip, like a tripod, quick release clip on that. And then um, right now I have the phone holder clipped in there, but I, because I'm filming with the camera that I usually use. Um, so I have a clip quick release on here as well on the camera I'm using so I can swap them out in and out. And that's really nice and convenient. This little guy here I got from Daiso a while back and um, I just, you know, I tossed it on there. So I would have something there, but it doesn't really do much. I don't use it for much. Um, the microphone is still on a boom arm clipped to the desk. And then um, this is my lighting setup. I have this guy. This came with like a little light box that my husband got me. And then the ring light itself. So if you ever see a ring light reflection in my videos, this is where I'm filming. And so I'm sitting right here, this is my trash can, that's um, some drawers of like crafting stuff. It's really, it's much better on this side of the desk because over there, I couldn't fit my whole body in front. I would be sort of straddling my drawers here <laughs> when I was filming, which was a bit of a, a pain and a problem. Um, I also moved my computer up here, partly because it's so pretty. I needed to get a new case fan because this one died. So I figured, why don't I just upgrade to RGB? It gives you FPS, right? That's that's what they say. I'm kidding. Um, but I went ahead and put it up on the desk so it doesn't get as dusty. Um, I'm always afraid of it overheating on the, the carpet. And also, I don't know how long that case fan was out because it was under the desk. This way, if something goes wrong with my computer... Um, I will know right away. I'm trying to keep the top of the PC not too cluttered. I just have my one little pen cup up here. Um, this is definitely just an accident waiting to happen. And um, there's only a couple things on the walls. That's the thing that I would have changed if I had more time here. I've got a stack of art here. And I have a couple more art pieces up here posters and things that I was going to put on the walls, um, but I couldn't really figure out where exactly. This whole space to the right of the desk had some posters and probably could do with some more, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I got the fairy lights back up though. They are mounted with these little cable clips that I got from the cable management kit from Amazon that I used, um, and I'll show you the cable management as well also, but let's just go to Go ahead and look across the desk. Filming setup space, a little bit of extra, like I can set like a to-do list or a planner here. Got myself a desk mat because I had been, let me see. I don't know if you can see the spot, it's in here somewhere. The spot where I had been using my mouse just straight on the desk and like wore down the desk. Yeah, and I didn't treat this desk well enough. So I got a desk mat for my mouse. I went ahead and upgraded to wireless stuff. Um, this is just like a really cheap wireless mouse from Amazon. 
this is a little bit more expensive. This is, I, I fell down a relatively short rabbit hole if you're familiar with mechanical keyboards at all. This is a super cheap, like it by comparison, Royal Kludge RK100. I upgraded the switches from what it came with to um, Gateron Milky Pro Yellows. And then this is a keycap set from Amazon that like was, they're, they're knockoffs of a GMK colorway, but it's a, um, excuse me. <laughs> they're like a, a different profile. I kind of like them, but the caps lock is weird. Anyway, um, I really like having the wireless stuff right now because I've been trying to do more things um, away from my desk also, like going out and editing videos at a coffee shop or just like working on my uh, insert designs on the catch while we're watching TV or something. Um, I went ahead and I'm keeping all of the cables I don't need all the time. Like this is a lightning cable for my work phone. Um, this one plugs into the computer and this one just plugs into a power brick for charging my phone, um, for charging my peripherals. This is just um, my planner and a couple of things I'm working on. I decided not to tidy absolutely everything, but I do like to keep my space pretty clear. Um, I clipped like my speaker controls to the desk also so that things kind of don't budge too much. And then the big deal is I mounted the monitors to the wall. So let me sort of peek over the top and show you. This is where it's mounted to the wall and it's got like an arm that comes over here and an arm that goes over there that clip into the computer. Um, they're, that, sorry, clip, like are screwed into the computer. Uh, this guy here is a video capture card I recently just got for doing my live videos. If you caught either of my recent live videos, then um, shout out in the comments. Uh, these, oh, I won these for my garden stuff. I submitted some cucumbers and melons to the fair and won some ribbons, so that was fun. Um, and shout out to Study As She Grows here on YouTube, who I'll try to link here if I remember, um, who inspired me to do that. I moved my pen organizer off the desk and then installed it back in the exact same place. I really need my pens up here. When I put them all in a box, it was like a massive mess. I couldn't believe how many it looks like when they're not organized. And then the big thing that took the most time was reorganizing all of the... Uh, shelves up top, it's, mm, it does still look messy, but it is much less messy than it was before. Um, that's my Lego box. There's a hammer up there, I'm just realizing, probably doesn't need to be. This is supposed to be current craft projects. Um, this is garden stuff and stationery. That's books and uh, some, I made those Zumbinis. If you ever played Zumbinis, these are like the original... DOS version art, um, color waves or whatever. This is all of my planner archive. Well, and also this. <laughs> so this is like loose leaf stuff and those are all of the actual planners and some of the inserts. This section here, those are the mailers I use for print and ship orders. That's some like actual archive stuff of like documents that I need to keep. Um, and then like I said, that's some art. And then over here is all of the paper stuff. So like these are all different kinds of paper I use for my planners, um, sticker paper and um, labels and, and decorative stuff. And this is the uh, paper that I use for actual printing inserts. It's nicer than the normal copy paper. Then I've got my journal, my content planner, and then my stickers. Oh, and my drawing tablet right here. Hey, I almost forgot. First of all, the office is still a bit of a mess, but at least it's organized. I almost forgot to show you these drawers. Um, I reorganized them as well with some pretty cool stuff. These are, um, they like lock into each other and they're cut to size. And so you can basically make your own little divider out of them. So I've got all of my washi tape nicely. Um, it's not organized by color. I wanted to, and I keep forgetting, but, um, you know, I can see it all and it's not falling apart or falling down or anything, which is great. Sticky notes. The problem with these drawers is that they're quite deep and they don't open all the way. Um, but I've got, yeah, sticky notes here. I'm not sure what was in here. Some pens or something. Um, but just a couple things that I don't need as often are back here. And then second drawer has like electronics and stuff. I've got like screen protectors, my checkbooks. Um, what's that? Oh, that's a, these are my portable drives for backup of, 
um, files. That's the problem is these do shift a little bit. My sprocket printer, these are all USB drives. Label maker, these are all like old, um, not old, but like gift cards and various types of that sort. And then all kinds of cables are kind of in here. It's not quite as organized as it could be, but it's way better than it used to be. Um, little um, you know, miscellaneous things are in this little box here. A couple power bricks, which I found. Like I didn't realize, I thought I was out of power bricks, but I still had some. And I tried to sort of pare down, like I, I think I have two mini USB uh, I probably only need one mini USB. Um, I probably have too many micro because everything's moving to C. But you know, Liz, you never want to buy a cable that you just threw away. Um, this is sort of a you know, hobbies type drawer. Um, so I've got like my D and D dice. We don't play D and D, but I have D and D dice. Um, there's some things in here for the um, my keyboard. I was showing you my keyboard. I did some mods to it. So these are the things I accumulated along that journey, like the stock keycaps. Um, these are all syringes. I just needed one syringe to stick some of this into the stabilizers. Anyway, um, these are all of my like essential oil stuff. So as you can see, this is the kind of essential oils person I am. It's one box and then I have some like, this is coconut oil for filling up roller balls. Um, which I made a couple of when I was on a bit of a kick, but I don't have a lot of stuff. And then these are like some tins that I had. They've got jelly beans in them, and I need to eat the jelly beans because I want to use the tins for something. At some point, I want to get like a magnet bar and use it for some sort of storage and have like all the houses across. But then I also have this tin of mints from Disneyland with a BB-8, which is cute. Anyway, so those are all just in there. Oh, these are my watercolor pens. And then this is a spare um, case fan which I was trying to put in the front here, but I can't get the front cover off. I need to see if my husband's strong enough to do that. Um, Cause there is, I think, space that I can screw it in here, but I need to take the front off. Anyway. Oh yeah, these are the stock switches. Way too late. Let's see. Then we've got, down here is more sort of office-y type stuff. I've got contact paper left over from a project I did for the birthday party. Um, some pens, some actually, you know, spare pens that don't need to go up in the pen organizer because it's just like a whole bunch of 0.5 G2 or 0.7 G2s, a whole bunch of 0.38 G2s. Like, I don't need all of them up in my pen organizer, I just need a couple. Um, I don't use the dry erase markers very often, so they're in here. Punches, stamps, punches, stapler. Oh, this is stamp stuff too. Anyway, and then the bottom drawer is not as organized, but this has like spare filming equipment and my spare paper cutter. So it's got like my gimbal, this little mini tripod, my lav mics, I've got an extra battery charger. Um, so it's just like that kind of stuff, an extra different like tripods that I don't use regularly, but they're all in there. So there you go. So I sit here, I actually have foot space again, which was an issue. Um, I decided to sort of sit to the right of the pole that's in the middle supporting everything. Um, down here, you'll see the cable management, which I am so proud of. Um, this is the subwoofer for my speakers, and so I have my power thing sitting on top of it. And then I did a little bit of cable management here that's just already falling apart. Uh. It is what it is. So there's some wires that are like clipped up to the top here that um, are sort of out of the way. So it's just, it still looks a little messy because for one thing, these are those cables that, um, that I have like retracted up top and so I can pull them out longer. But other than that, it probably still looks a mess, um, but it is much less of a mess than it used to be. And this is a fun little hack that I thought of. Um, cables that are not in neat but like in use at the moment instead of just setting them on the floor he could put them in a container so that's what that's for and everything is like sleeved up the back and then it all sort of kind of poke around and, and it's plugged into the back of the tower so I don't know it's an improvement over what I had before and I really am enjoying all of the extra desk space um, as of recording, I've been working from home three days a week since the beginning of August, so like two months. Um, and 
redoing this space in that time has made such a big difference. Um, I just feel like I can think when I don't have as much clutter and it's a lot easier to tidy away now. So there you go. That's my <laughs> updated and already old desk tour. Thanks so much for watching. I've been sweating this whole time. I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. Have a productive day. Bye.